This is a very small board uh, that Dave Friedman also put together, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's uh, I've tried to keep it, yeah, just try to keep it as compact as possible. This is uh, it's a Digitech Whammy, uh, but not in the pedal form. Now they've done this ricochet. <laughs> That's, that's kind of cool that they've done that now. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, my uh, signature overdrive that I've uh, developed with uh, J Rocket Company. And, um, and they, ha they had the existing elements of this in their Archer pedal. And um, what I always had to do is create a loop for the pedal and then I would put a graphic equalizer after it to, uh, to kind of carve out my own uh, that's cool. uh, e you know, EQ, and I said, you know, could you combine them into one pedal? And they came up with this. So it's really, it's what's great about it is it's it's uh, you can create your own tailor-made sound. You're not reliant on the, the circuitry. If you, you know, I use it to primarily for my solos. Uh, so I'm boosting up some some other mid frequencies here, and um, you can you can get a lot of gain, you know, overdrive gain. But I kind of just use it as a kind of a clean boost with some mids boosted and um, what I like about it is you don't um, when you step on it it doesn't change the sound of your guitar it just drives the amp harder and pushes frequencies that'll pop out for a, a solo so um, <laughs> This is a you know a TC delay which I have my preset delays in. Uh, one is a just just slight delay for 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 um, uh, uh, solos you know give it a little little air behind it. Uh, and this is for crack crackdown which. We <laughs> and then the other one is just a little. little effects and things like that. Sometimes I'll, depending on the gig, but sometimes I'll do like a rockabilly. It's like instant rockabilly sound. So you never know. Sometimes I have places where you just throw that in. What's nice about this is you do have the uh, the ability to um, get in in any of your presets. You can do tap tempos. So. So it's you know I don't really need that many presets because I can always just change the time of it on the fly. And it's a, it's a great sounding uh, pedal, the, this one. Um, and that's the only pedal that's in the send and return of the amp. I like to have delays after the preamp section so it stays nice and clean. And then this is a new uh, TC sub and up that I've just been playing around with. It kind of does a uh, octave below your, your note, uh, two octaves below or an octave up and it's <laughs> It's kind of cool thing. I throw it in for like solos and things like that. And um, and then there was one setting where I had it like this. <laughs> So it's kind of 
bass and guitar. Just, but it's, it stays nice and um, with distortion, stays solid sounding. Whereas a lot of the octave pedals, to me, kind of they crap out on you for some reason. So that's a good little one. And then the um, uh, the Vibe Machine is a great little Vibe pedal from Dry Bell, which is a company in Croatia, and uh, and it's. A, just gives you that classic trower. We actually, in our set, we do a version of uh, uh, Day of the Eagle, the Robin Trower song, which I had recorded on one of my solo records. And it's, uh, it's small but mighty, the pedal, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's all my stuff there.